Hey guys, I'm Lisa. Today I'm going to be proving the choreo so that I can do a merry round in tennis ball. So first I just want to show that I am throwing the ball straight. Here I have Georgie, my brother. So take the ball, throw it. It's going straight, throw it back. It's going straight. All right, now I'm going to throw it while it's spinning. Ready? Threw the ball straight. I wasn't moving, the ball wasn't moving. According to me, it was I was throwing it straight from my point of view. But because the mirror running round was spinning, it seemed to have curved. Alright, so this is the second part of the project, which is explaining the centrifugal and the Euler force. Couldn't get to a merry round because there's kids on it all the time. So I'm gonna be showing it on a spinning platform which will get the point across. So basically, just real quick, the centrifugal force is the force that pushes an object outward as it's spinning, then the U of force is the tangential path that the object takes when it flies off of the surface. The centrifugal force, uh, a big component of it is mass, so something with less mass is gonna fly off faster and will be more affected by the centrifugal force, whereas something with a uh, bigger mass and is closer to the center will either not fly off or is less likely to fly off because it's less impacted by the centrifugal force. So here's what I'm gonna be using with my example. So in the middle, I have an earring box and then here I have an earring. When I spin this, this is gonna fly off first. First of all, because it's farther away from the center and second, because it's lighter. Um, this is obviously a lot lighter than this. So if I spin it, wasn't spinning it very fast, but we'll go again. Um, as you can see, the earring flies off first and then the box just kind of moves. And then it takes a path when it spins off, and this path, it goes in a straight line in the direction of its spinning, and that is the tangential uh, direction, which is the Euler force. 